लेट्स बी ऑनेस्ट विंडोज इलेवन इन विनिंग हार्ट इट फील्स ब्लोटेड नैक्स यू इन टू माइक्रोसॉफ्ट अकाउंट शिप्स विद अनवॉन्टेड एप्स यूल नेवर यूज and drops updates at the worst times possible and yet most of us still put up with it even though linux has been proving for years you don't have to live with that bloat today i'll break down whether switching in 2025 actually makes sense for you or not windows 11 feels like it's built for microsoft first and you second you open start menu ads you open file explorer one drive keeps nagging you even basic settings are hidden behind microsoft accounts and performance even fresh windows 11 runs dozens of background processes so you spend more time debloating than actually using your pc now linux flips that story completely no shady data collection no forced accounts no preloaded candy crush just your system your rules and the beauty choice want a desktop that feels exactly like windows linux mint got you covered prefer something sleek almost mac os like try zorin os Need to revive an older laptop? Linux Lite runs smoother than Windows ever could. Linux ain't just an operating system; it's your toolbox. You choose how simple or powerful it gets. But let's keep it real: Linux ain't a magic bullet, and Windows still has some strong cards. For gamers, popular titles with kernel-level anti-cheat like Valorant, Fortnite, or Rainbow Six simply won't run on Linux. For creative professionals, if you live inside the Adobe cloud, like Adobe Premiere, After Effects, or Photoshop, Linux alternatives exist, like Kaden Live, GIMP, or DaVinci Resolve. But let's be real; they are not perfect replacements. And then there's the learning curve. First time you open a Linux terminal, you'll either feel like a hacker from Mr. Robo or feel completely lost. So if Linux has all these caveats, why even bother? because for most people it's faster lighter more private and simply less annoying everyday tasks like browsing youtube office docs zoom coding works flawlessly most games run now thanks to proton and steam deck compatibility and updates are smoother and less intrusive now if you're curious don't just dive into arch linux on day 1 start with something beginner friendly linux mint cinnamon is closest to windows stable and beginner proof Zorin OS is polished with layouts that mimic Windows or Mac OS. Ubuntu has a massive community and huge app support. Linux Lite is great for older PCs and is super lightweight. My personal 2025 pick, Linux Mint Cinnamon. Now has the good news. Testing Linux doesn't mean wiping your PC and removing Windows. All you have to do is download an ISO, flash it to a USB drive with Belina H or Rufus. boot into try without installing play around check wifi sound graphics if you like it install alongside windows as dual boot didn't like it reboot and you are back on windows zero risk so here's my challenge stop complaining about windows try linux make a bootable usb give it one evening and see for yourself if you like it or not worst case you are back on windows best case you just found an os that actually respects you back Drop a comment which distro are you going to try first and if you're already a Linux user what made you switch if this video helped smash that subscribe hit like and I'll see you in the next one